we're going to troubleshoot connectivity through an SRX firewall. And I'm trying to browse to a web page which is hosted on another server here, 192.168.1.50. Um, but I can't. Uh, I can ping, I can SSH, um, but when I try the web page, it doesn't work. Well, you can see that this workstation here is part of a zone called workstations, and the server that we're hosting the web page on is on a zone called trust. So the first thing we're going to do is just validate that these particular hosts are lie within a ad, lie within an address book uh, within those security zones. Um, so I'm going to show configuration security address book workstations. I've created one called workstations book. And you can see that I have one called workstations-net, which is 172.32.0 slash 24, which includes this particular host. I'm now going to check to see if the 1.50 is in the trust address book. Show configuration security address book trust book. I have a few entries in here. Um, I have one called out of band dash net 192.168.1.0 which includes this host. I want to mention that this is the way you should do your address books. Um, you should do it within the security address book, your address book name, place your addresses and then attach it to that zone. Um, you can put the address books uh, nestled within the security zone, um, but I suggest you do it this way. It's just a lot cleaner. We want to check to see if we have a policy that allows this particular host to communicate with this particular host. Uh, we know there's a policy there already, right? Because we could see that we could ping and we could see that we can SSH, uh, but we can't HTTPS over. So let's check. Let's do show configuration security policies from zone workstations to zone trust. And we can see that we have one policy, uh, a policy called workstations to Eve. Uh, this particular server just happens to be my Eve server, and that's why it's called that. Um, let's see what it says. It says that, that we're matching on a source address of workstations-net, which is here. That's good. Destination address is oob-net, which is this one particular, this address set here, um, which includes that host. So that looks good. Um, we're also allowing applications, HTTPS, Junos, SSH, and Juno's ping. So everything looks pretty good, right? Um, why is this not working? We need to have a bit more visibility on what's happening. Uh, the next thing we need to do is enable logging. So let's go ahead and enter edit mode. Uh, you can also do configure, that also works. Uh, configure, so we can do edit security policies from zone workstations to zone trust show now we're buried deep within the config and we're going to edit policy workstations show now we're buried even a little further and then we're going to do set then log session init set then log session close we're going to do another show uh, and it, now remember this is not a cisco so these have not taken effect until you've committed uh, we want to have a laser focus on the particular issue that we're troubleshooting because as you know our syslogs uh, can get overrun by traffic that you don't really care about uh, so what we're going to do is create a new log um, that will only show this particular tra traffic that we care about. 
Uh, so what we're going to do is uh, edit system syslog show. I'm going to do a create a new file set file https troubleshoot any any uh, and you can do a little bit more research on that if you want but it's essentially logging all the any severity that's going to log everything obviously we don't want that but so we're also going to match on 192.168.1.15 and that should only capture traffic that's involving this particular host. We've turned on logging, but that's only if the traffic is permitted. What if the tra traffic is actually being denied? How, how do we know that we're seeing that? If you're explicitly allowing something, everything else is going to be denied, right? Just by the very nature of how these firewalls work or, or even just an access list. If you permit it, anything else that's not permitted is going to be denied inherently. Uh, but how do we know it's going to log? Uh, well, this is where I would urge you to pay attention and do this as a best practice. Uh, show config. I'm sorry, I'm already in config mode. Uh, show security uh, policies global. I would urge you to create a global policy exactly as it's shown here. And here's the most important piece is we're locking it. I do not recommend you to create a deny all after every security from zone to zone. Um, because what happens then is anytime you create a new policy, it's down at the bottom. And guess what? You have to move that above the deny policy. We'll go to make sure we're at the top of the configuration. Show pipe compare just to make sure that we're OK with all the changes we're about to make. So we're going to go ahead and uh, commit this. Um, now, I would just urge you to be patient if you have a branch series firewall like we do here it's not one of these monster data center series uh, SRXs so it does take a little bit of time um, so I think we're ready to test um, first thing I want to do uh, is exit out of here I guess that could have been also accomplished by doing commit and quit first thing I want to do is uh, monitor start HTTPS troubleshoot. If your logs start overwhelming the screen, you can just type monitor stop HTTPS troubleshoot and that will stop the logs from scrolling. So in theory right now, um, if we try some of this traffic, like our ping, we should be able to see that pop up on the screen. And we do. Telnet to 443. Ooh, I see something interesting. So let's uh, go ahead and start looking at this log a bit closer to see what it is that we were doing. So the first thing we tried was a ping. Uh, you can see here that we had a session create from 172.32.12 over 192.168.1.50 via ICMP. Uh, it was created and it also closed, which is good. In other words, we, after every one of those pings, the session was created and then it was closed. So that's normal operation right here. It was created here, Junos SSH uh, via destination. Here's our ephemeral port on the source. Here's our destination port 22. Uh, another thing I need you to pay attention to is this number six right here. That is protocol six, which is TCP. If you see a 17 there, that is UDP. Now let's see what happened when we tried to browse or at least connect to port 443. What happened? Uh, we do see that we got denied by the global policy, which is shown here. It is denied. I mean, I guess that there's no other way to put that, but it's not telling us why. So 
I guess we got to do a little bit more investigation. Um, let's go back to our policy here. Now, there is this HTTPS that does look a little different from this one, doesn't it? Right? I was using canned Junos um, applications, def ap uh, Junos defined applications here. This one looks like it was custom created. So why don't we take a look at our applications in the firewall. And we can see we have a couple of custom applications here. We have application HTTPS, which is the one we have referenced here. Protocol UDP. Oh man, that does not look right, does it? Um, HTTPS, as we all know, uses TCP. Um, so we can either fix this one of two ways. Uh, we can change this to TCP, that should fix it. Or we can use one of these canned Junos uh, applications. Fire, and then we'll check it out. Check out what we just did. Looks like it replaced it, that's good. I'm just gonna go to top, show pipe compare, and commit this. Monitor start HTTPS troubleshoot again. And we're going to try to telnet again. Uh, ooh, th that looks good. See, now we, we're trying and now we're connected. And guess what? We have a session create over here. Let's see if our web page loads. Ah, excellent. Uh, another couple of commands I'd like to show you is uh, show security flow session. Um, if I hit enter right here, you're going to see a ton of sessions that are currently going on through this firewall. This is, happens to be my house firewall. You're going to see a bunch of uh, DNS lookups, uh, all of, uh, you know, Hulu traffic, Netflix traffic. Um, and I don't really want to see all that. So what we're going to do is just do uh, destination prefix 192.168.1.1. Fifty, and I'm going to show the current session that the Mac work uh, laptop is currently using to communicate to the Eve server. Uh, there's something very important I need to show you. So this is currently going on through the firewall. Um, if if nothing showed up, that means that the session was already closed. Um, but right here in the bytes, um, it, for further troubleshooting, if this, if you saw bytes here, but you saw zero bytes on the return, that means traffic was able to go this way, but it was not able to come back. So what that, so in that case, you need to check to see if this particular host had a route back to this host. You should just validate that all of the routes are properly configured.